Hello, this is Dr. Victoria Skirbo speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. So we're going to look at Michael Cohen's numerology and Kabbalah, and uh, I'll uh, see if how long it goes as, as I go through the numbers. I might have to split it up into two um, so that you can have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea while you're watching it. Um, so um, I've done this on um, Robert Mueller, so if you want to look at his... I've done this on Donald Trump. I've done this uh, on Ivanka, although I have to say I I did not get her first name right. Her first name is actually Ivana, not Ivanka. Um, So I have to redo that one when I get an opportunity. I also did one on Jared Kushner. Um, I think I did one on Elizabeth Warren, and I did one on Bernie Sanders, I believe. Maybe. I think I did. Um, So if you want to look back at those... That can give you another like perspective, you know, different people, and and see how I do it. So I'm gonna do this. Going to be a little review in the beginning for those of you, of course, who haven't seen anything like this from me. Okay, so the first thing we look at, um, the okay. So the nice thing about numerology and Kabbalah is that all you need is your name at birth and your date of birth. Um, we know when he was born. Uh, Michael Cohn was born um, August twenty fifth. Uh, to uh, 1966, he is a fire horse in in Chinese Chinese astrology. Um, he is a Virgo, okay, and uh, and that's really um, without an accurate birth time, you can't get an accurate birth chart. But with numerology and Kabbalah, you can get quite a lot of information without that information. Um, and so this is the type of reading that I would do for somebody. This is part of the readings that I do. I include numerology and Kabbalah um, and astrology in my uh, Kabbalistic soul reading. So if you're interested in something like that, contact me. I'll put a, a link below and uh, and you can uh, you can uh, get on, go on my website and get this for yourself. So let's look at Michael Cohen. All right. We have Michael Dean Cohen. That's his full name. And he was born um, 825, 1966, as I said. Now, the name in somebody's chart is the energy that they come in on. So the name possesses um, a lot of the past, a lot of the talents and abilities, and a lot of the things that they have worked on over lifetimes. If you take the name and separate out the vowels and the consonants, the vowels, when we add them t- together, we get a soul vibration. This is the inner self vibration, more of the inner feminine Okay, the introspective self. Okay, this is often hidden from people, um, except for the people who are closest to them. Generally, more, tends to be more hidden in men than women. Um, a lot of men aren't even connected to their uh, inner feminine side. Although I wouldn't say that's the case with, with Michael. Um, the quiescent is the outer per- or the outer personality is the masculine side. It's all the consonants. This is the person that you meet. Okay, and then if we add those two numbers up together, we get something called an expression vibration. And the expression vibration is how the person balances their inner and outer self. Okay, so as a soul vibration, Michael has an 11 because the name Cohen, the, the, the name Cohen, the vowels from Cohen add up to an 11. So we put the 11 over here, and then if you add the 11, the 6, and the 15, we get a 32 over 5 vibration. What's interesting about that is that is the same vibration as um, America. America vibrates to a 32.5. It is the path of life for the United States of America, and it is also the shadow of the United States of America. So people who have 32.5 prominently in their chart can express both the, you know, the, the ideal... America and also the shadow of America. Okay. Uh, the 11 um, is a, a master number vibration. Okay. So we're dealing with somebody who's an, an older soul. Okay. And uh, the 32 5 vibration is connected with the sign of Leo. And he actually has some Leo in his chart. I believe he has Mercury, Venus. And Mars in in Leo. Let me see if I can pull that up so I'm I'm accurate. Okay, so um, 
and then the quiescent vibration is a seven and the outer personality as a seven is somebody that's difficult to get to know they're a little bit of a mystery they tend to be somewhat of a loner um, they're very introspective they're very analytical sevens are very analytical and what's interesting is that Donald Trump is actually a double seven um, I believe is he a double seven I think he's a double seven and um, Robert Mueller is double seven. <laughs> so these people are hard to figure out. These people are hard to figure out, especially as an outer personality vibration, because that's the, that's the sort of energy that, that you put forth. Now that seven is very analytical and he is a Virgo. And so he would tend to be very analytical, even, even by his, the standards of his astrological chart. I'm trying to pull up his chart right here. Yes, he has Mars in Leo, uh, Venus in Leo, and Mercury in Leo. And we have to remember that the North Node was just in Leo, and we had all those uh, eclipses to um, to uh, Leo planets. People who had Leo planets got, uh, got hit pretty good with these eclipses. Uh, and there's an indication in here. Um, the last eclipse that we had on the 11th of... Um, the 11th of, I'm sorry, August, August 11th, it was at 19 degrees of Leo, was on his Mercury. Mercury is your ability to communicate. So uh, he had his Mercury eclipsed, and so things came out, right? Okay, so, so incidentally, let me show you the cards associated with his numbers his soul vibration and his uh, outer personality or quiescent vibration, and then his expression. So this is uh, the 11. Okay, we have the Justice card. All right, you're going to recognize a lot of these cards because they come up a lot around him. Uh, his soul vibration is the Six of uh, Wands, the Victory card. Okay, this is connected with Leo. Um, his outer personality is the Three of Cups. This is the 43-7 vibration. This is connected with the sign of Cancer. He has his Jupiter in Cancer. And he also has his, uh, looks like Juno in Cancer. Is that Cancer? Yes, Juno in Cancer. So Juno in Cancer, uh, he gets a lot of emotional uh, support through his, his wife, through his marriage. Um, and, and that was actually seen in his card reading that we, that we did, that I did before this. And then this is his expression vibration. This looks familiar, right? This is the seven of pentacles. This is somebody uh, who has to, uh, in order to stay healthy, because the expression is how he balances the inner and outer self, he has to every now and then prune people from his life so that they don't sap his, his life force energy. Okay. Um, and so that is the energy that he has that he comes in with. All right. Um, so that inner self is somebody who does have a sense of justice and fairness. Okay. Um, and also that 32 five vibration is about freedom. And so this is somebody who wants to be free to do what they want to do. So there's this sense of, of freedom and constant movement and all things American, uh, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness are all things that are very close to his, to his soul, okay? And he has a significant part in the history of America, right? Okay, and then that uh, quiescent vibration, that 43-7 vibration, is, uh, so, is somebody who will often have betrayals through friendship, okay? Um, and again, that expression deals with the, the, the uh, need to prune people from your life, so not to sap your, your vital force. All right, so then we look at his life lesson or his path of life, and that has to do with his date of birth. Okay, that's how you get the path of life. Now, the path of life or the life lesson is not something that we're necessarily good at. As we get older, okay, we tend to get better and better at it. Uh, because it is a lesson, and it's a lesson that we have to learn. So he, his path of life is actually a 55-1 vibration. So he has come in in this lifetime to learn about being a one, 
uh, a unique individual, okay? And this is the card associated with the 55 over 1. Does this look familiar, folks? Yes, it is the Sword of Truth. And so on a certain level, a person who has this vibration needs to make a choice in their life. They need to make a choice. And once they make one choice, uh, all other choices are null and void, okay? And so he has a life uh, around choice. Now, the choices that he makes have uh, big consequences. And we'll, we'll get into that when we look at the tree of life and how it affects the tree of life. And so he really is coming in to learn how to be his own person, really, that one. And then the other vibration that I look at is something called the shadow. And the shadow is the place of healing. It's where uh, Michael has come in to heal or... Um, the wounds that he has come to heal. And he really can't progress until he heals these wounds. You really can't get into your life lesson until you have healed your your shadow. You can't really, uh, uh, your soul can't really evolve past that shadow vibration, okay? So his shadow vibration is if we take his name, Michael, which vibrates to a 33, and we add the day of his birth, the 25th, and we get a 58 over 4 vibration. And the 58 over 4 vibration is this card here. This looks familiar too, doesn't it? This is the Four of Swords. Now, as I understand it, the, at this as a, a shadow vibration is connected to a sense of feeling alienated, a sense of uh, sort of... Uh, I remember as a child seeing this this um, um, movie. I guess it was like a movie of the week. It was called A Man Without a Country. And uh, he was this guy who uh, ended up cursing. You know, he just like cursed the United States. Uh, it, I think this happened in the 1700s, but I could be wrong, or the 1800s. So he cursed the United States and uh, they said, okay, you can't, you, you no longer, you, you, you're no longer a part of, of the United States. He lost his citizenship. And so he was a man without a country and it caused a lot of pain. So there's this pain of alienation. There's this pain of feeling different. There's this pain of not fitting in. Okay. And that's the kind of things that can uh, sort of, Inform your decisions, okay? Inform your decisions. All right, so... Um, so I just want to show you how this works out on the Tree of Life. And I have the Tree of Life over here, okay? And uh, you can take the, th the Tree of Life and you can overlay the chakra system over it. And so you can get an idea of where his, his, uh, his blocks are in his chakra, where... He's activated what chakras are most activated for him, okay, by looking at where these numbers fall. Now, his path of life is up here in Kether. Kether is the top of the tree. It's called, Kether means crown. When you have a number in Kether, you have influence. You have big influence. So even small mistakes uh, make for big influence within the world, okay? This is the ace. This is where the aces are. This is where the root of the energy is. This energy, the 55-1 vibration, is the energy of Aquarius. I'm not sure he has any Aquarius in his chart. I'm sorry, I, I should have... My computer is, is being um, touchy here. Oh, geez, no. I don't want that. Okay, ooh, shush, 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 shush. Sorry about that. Sorry, I was turning it on, turning on a voice. Let's see if he has any Aquarius in his chart. Um, no, I don't see. He doesn't have any Aquarius in his chart. Okay, so um, so decisions that he makes, his path of life, uh, as he makes mistakes, there's big consequences to his mistakes. But then as he makes the right decision, there are big consequences to that, okay? Um, his soul vibration is here. In Tipareth, Tipareth is connected to the heart chakra. So he's actually quite a heart-centered person at the core of who he is. That is not necessarily the, the Michael Cohen that most people see, but that's probably the Michael Cohen that his family sees and that his wife and his children see and perhaps his mother and his father see. And um, 
you know, I, I watch, I watch some of the news and there's a certain, I don't know, he did some really crappy things and yet people seem to like him. Okay. There is a likability about him. Uh, I'll have to say. We also have his soul vibration here that's along this path. This is the path of justice. It connects the soul here. It's, it connects the heart with the throat chakra. So he has his throat chakra also activated here. Um, his quiescent is up here, 43 over 7. It's in Baina. Baina is associated with the divine feminine. Okay, People who have numbers in Baina understand what it means to suffer. So he has an understanding of what it means to suffer. He has suffered. Okay, He has suffered in his past lives. Seven is about introspective and analyzing why. And so he goes through these periods of darkness in order to find the inner light. That's, that's how binary works. Okay, It's also connected to the divine feminine. And so he, it's interesting that a lot of the work he did for Trump was very wounding to the feminine. This is not, I, I can't think, uh, that the, if he has a conscience, which I believe he does, that that as he looks at what he's done and where he's, he, his relationship with Trump has brought him and what he has perpetrated on people, this cannot be easy for somebody to live with. Okay, all right. It's also in his third eye, which gives him a lot of, uh, which gives him keen intuition. So he is keenly intuitive. Um, and then the expression vibration is down here in the solar plexus, okay, in a place called Netzach. Netzach is connected with Venus, and Venus deals with your sense of self-worth. So in order for him to balance his inner and outer self, he needs to have a good sense of self-worth. And people who hurt other people the way he has do not have that, okay? And so he's out of balance. He's out of balance here. And so uh, in order for him to be in balance... He needs to um, be his own person. He needs to have his autonomy. He needs to make his own decisions. Now, we can see that he has come to that point. He has made decisions. They haven't been popular with, with you know certain factions in his life uh, and very popular with other factions, right? Okay, so we can see that he really is at a point where he is making these decisions um, that have spiritual ramifications for his chart. Um, and then the last thing I want to point out is his shadow. And his shadow is in, um, in um, Hesed. Hesed is a sephiroth, that's the circle sephiroth, connected with the planet Jupiter. And he has Jupiter in Cancer. And I believe his Jupiter is conjunct Trump's Venus and his Saturn. And so Jupiter can be the yes man, right? Yeah, Jupiter can be, I can do that, they overpromise, okay? And so uh, because it's connected to his shadow, this is his wound, okay? He does not feel like he belongs. And maybe in his relationship with Trump, he saw a father figure. I do not know what his relationship with his father is. And I apologize to his father for saying that if, it's, if he had a good relationship. But there was something about Trump that he felt a, a, a kinship. But with Jupiter sitting on Trump's Venus, it's much better than Trump's Saturn sitting on his Jupiter. So Trump got more out of it in a way than, than Michael Cohen would. But because this is his shadow, this is what he's come in to heal. And what's interesting about this is this is in the throat chakra. And it's in the throat chakra where we deal with truth and lies. And so I believe that his inability to tell the truth or his lying is, came out of his need to feel accepted. And Trump gave him that opportunity to feel accepted. And yet, what did he do? He left him out in the cold, which is exactly the wound he was trying to avoid. See, when you do things to avoid your wound, instead of heal it, you actually create it in your life. And he has had an awakening of a certain, to a certain extent. Um, and he's decided to do it differently. So um, there's a lot more we could go into about this, but I don't want to keep this too long. It's already almost 20 minutes long. So I will let you go. And I will, um, I think I'll also look at a chart, an astrological chart. I don't know if I'll get that done today or not. Um, but um, I guess we will, we will see. So um, 
All right, that's where I'm going to stop. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, if you'd like this type of reading for yourself, uh, contact me um, below, and uh, or I'll put a link below, and, and you can uh, contact me that way. Okay, have a great day. I hope this helps you to understand Michael Cohen a little bit better. It certainly helped me. Take care. Bye.